the ratings on Summer House ain't so great. They're not. They're shit. It's it's Summer House is different. It's it's I'm not giving it a pass. It's just that the Vanderpump had a fall from grace. That was all I was trying to say. To me, it was the best show on Bravo that has ever existed in the history of Bravo. That's my personal opinion. At the height of it, it was my number one show ever that has ever existed on Bravo. No close second. And it just, I thought this past season was horrible. I, I didn't like it. I love Lala, love, she loved the people on it. I just didn't like it. Summer House, I don't know what the latest numbers are, but the ratings are not so great now. No, they're not. So they, there you go. But, you know, I think that they are better than when it started. Summer House is like the little show that could. But what, well, here, okay, right here. Oh, 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 oh. It okay, started- right. It started this season at 600,000. That ain't so great. That's terrible. But wait, it gets worse. What? It went to then like 585, 541, 480. They won't keep it. You don't think? But this no, is- no. I mean, even even OC, which is struggling and Andy defends. Struggling. I mean, in whatever, in DVR, however they, they track that metric. I mean, it still gets to about a million. I think I think the threshold is 750,000 or higher. I don't think, if, if that is for, I doubt it. May I present two arguments of why they will keep Summer House? I'm just, okay. A, these ratings have been this forever. I just looked up the prior seasons. They've been this oh. for a while. Okay, and here's, here's the real reason. Kyle even joked about this at BravoCon. It's so cheap to produce. You th- Renting a house in the Hamptons for the summer, I just rented one. I will be in the Hamptons for five months. Come to the Hamptons. I'm oh literally, I'm literally selling. And when I say selling, I mean, I'm, no, I'm not charging anyone, but unless anyone, I'm literally, the calendar is filling up. We have, I'm literally taking residence in the Hamptons for five months, right down the street from the one, the only (laughs) Miss Countess Luann de Lesseps (laughs) in Sag Harbor. So come find me. But the weeks are, the weeks are booking up. People are like screaming. I want that. I'm literally at a Hamptons calendar. So get out your calendar, Sarah. But here's the deal. I want to come when Kim D is coming. Kim D is like driving. She's like, I'm going to be there every week. I'm like, whatever you want here. I don't, there's too much. Just do what you want. Um, Renting a house in the Hamptons ain't cheap. And I didn't rent a house like that big. So they, that's an expense. Sure. But short of that, the cast, I mean, you look at like a Stassi, uh, a Jax, what they were making, this cast makes shit. They make nothing. Really? Kyle has even said it. Yeah, of course they make more now, but they don't when make you a say lot of money. nothing, what do you think they make? 10 grand an episode, 12, 15, 20,000 an episode? How many episodes are there? Let's just say there's 20 episodes. 12, 13, okay, are there? Okay, are there well, no, let's just say 15. Um, I don't know, 10,000 an episode, like 150. Okay, well, Kyle and Carl and Lindsay make a good amount, sure. And I think second tier, Paige. And Amanda are probably the second tier to what those three make. But then, I mean, I think Andrea and, and Maya and Sierra and all these new people probably make a dollar, 60,000, 50,000. I don't think they make a lot, really. Wow. Okay, well, you're right. It does come down to, you know this, God, you've owned a business. I mean, if they can sell ads, if they can get, if they can get ad coverage, and it is cheap to produce. You're absolutely right. Even if it has 488,000 people, absolutely. If they can't sell I'm ads, telling you, that's it. it. I'm telling you, I that's just it. looked okay. at them. They've, they've had these ratings forever. And I mean, compare that to like, I assume it costs, you know, Roni is in a state of crisis because you have a million dollars for Ramona, a million dollars for the Countess. You have like 800 for Sonia. You had like 200,000 for Leah. You had 60,000 for Ebony. There you go. That those those were the salaries on yeah, that. That's a big number. That's that's big. And you know, if they bring back Tinsley, I'm sure Tinsley is not going to do it for cheap. You know, I mean, so yeah, that's that is it's a it's a much bigger budget. It's a much bigger budget. And then you look at like again, I think Fancy Pants Dubrow got a million to come back. I just I'm convinced of that, and she's never told me that, but I'm convinced. Can we of it. can we just dish because you just had her on for a second? Can I just ask you something? It's fascinating to me because it's not just you. I think she did some other interview. Maybe it was for Bravo or someone. She, 
I'm inter- I'm curious. She seems to come on these shows without makeup, without glam. Is that to basically show people like this is how good I look at? Is she fifty or fifty something? Okay, let's unpack all this. First of all, yes, whatever other podcast she did, it wasn't a real podcast. Like she only does us weekly. And like I, that's another one. I will sing Heather Dubrow's praises from now until she's yes. Say what you want, guys. I'm very self-serving, but it actually serves all of you because then they come on yeah. and you can ask them these questions. Heather and Terry came on before. They were great to me and Heather was great to me. She came on with no makeup. Yep. She was in a ski jacket. I love it. Um, but she I, only I does thought it really was very big. brave. I thought it was interesting. I was like, wow, is, I wonder if this is strategic or it was, yeah. I mean, she looked great without makeup. Um, but I was really surprised she did your show without makeup surprised right a little surprised um yeah I don't know what her you know I wasn't I guess the next time I talked to her maybe I should just say like you do a lot of things without makeup can I ask why I mean she might tell me to fuck off but I can put that on my agenda if that will make you happy I just I would be curious you know most of the time when I see a lot of the housewives you know I mean Lisa from Real Housewives of Salt Lake I mean they the Meredith when she's been on your show they seem to be glammed and um it was just interesting you know for someone as high profile as her I I thought it was very brave but I was also surprised I was like hmm, I wonder if that's a strategy if that's a strategy to show Terry's work I don't know Intro- Sarah that is an interesting concept <laughs> I, probably- that's I didn't quite think of it like that, but okay, that's, well, okay, that's very interesting. Almost um, like, you know, I, my work, is, his work is so good on my face, I don't even need fucking makeup. That's what it seemed like to me. It was the ultimate F you. Huh. Well, listen, I think, yes, Heather's in her 50s, and I, I don't know, I think she's really pretty. I, I, that's just me. Oh my God, are you kidding? I, you'd have to tape me up. Like, I mean, I'm planning a mini facelift at like 43 or 44, but I mean, yeah you would have to tape me up. And she looked really good without makeup. She looks really good. Um, yeah. So, right. So I'm just saying, I think she's a million. So I think that's the difference. And Shannon Bedore is probably five, oh, yeah. six something. So that's the difference between New York. And I think Summer House, I think it could exist at these numbers. I really do. Honest, uh, on, honest and true. I'm still into it. It's great watching. I absolutely love how Kyle bought Amanda nothing for her 30th birthday. Amanda's amazing. Like I would have dumped his ass right there. Like I, you know, my husband is not the great, he's become a good gift giver. And he just threw a little mini surprise birthday party for me when we moved out here to LA. I was like, I was like, oh my God, you like have totally stepped up your game. But if he came to my 30th party with nothing and then showed up with some fucking flowers and spilt the water out of the vase, I would have been like, I don't see it. Like, 